If you've been following what we've been teaching the last few weeks here on 86 Seconds, you'll know we've been talking about two elements this past few months. One is, is there any hope for America? And the answer to that is there's only one hope, and that's in Jesus Christ. And then we talked about how to get that hope living in us and through us, and that's through the baptism of the power of the Holy Spirit in our life. And then last week we talked about, well, what if you lose that? What if you don't find that passion stirring in your soul right now? What if you want it, but you don't have it, then you can reach out? Well, one of the hindrances to walking in the fullness of the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the uh, baptism of love is, is two things. One is called grieving the Holy Spirit. That's found in Ephesians uh, 4.30. And this grieving of the Holy Spirit is when it, it has to do with your walk with the Lord, uh, your character, your conduct. In that chapter, it talks about uh, various sins that we commit and it grieves the Holy Spirit and it moves us away from that love and that intimacy and that passion. And then the other one is in First Thessalonians. And it's not the grieving of the Holy Spirit, it's but the quenching of the Holy Spirit. And this is more like turning off the fire hose. It's like the Holy Spirit is available to move through you in might and in power and in signs and wonders, but through unbelief or through being unresponsive when the Holy Spirit gives you that nudge to, to go and pray for somebody, to go and witness to somebody, and you, you just uh, withhold that, you, you, you resist that, and that resistance is the quenching of the Holy Spirit. The quenching and the grieving of the Holy Spirit are two ways to ensure that that baptism of love will not flow through you. If you want it to throw, flow through you, all it takes is say, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've grieved your Holy Spirit with sin. I'm sorry I've quenched the Holy Spirit with not responding uh, quickly to that nudge of loving people the way you do. You can have that baptism of love constantly in your life.